Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this lamb. I'll be crocheting it in these colours because it would be very difficult for you to see what I'm doing if I was using black. I crocheted the sheep in a different video. I'll be using 8 ply wool which is like worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got copper and cream. I've got scissors. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in my ends. I've got sewing thread to stitch it together and a sewing needle. And I've got black and white cotton to embroider on the facial features. For this sheep I used sequins and black beads for the eyes. What I'd really prefer is tiny white buttons but my craft store closed down so it's a real trick to get to another craft store so I'm having trouble getting supplies at the moment. Now I'm going to start on the body so I've got my cream wool and I start with a magic loop. For a magic loop I put my hook onto my wool, I pull the short end over the top and then I bring my long end over the short end so I've got a circle and then I put the yarn from my long end around my hook and bring it in through the circle and then I do three chain Now I'm going to work 18 double crochet into my circle. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet we put our yarn around the hook, put our hook in through the circle from the front and pick up a loop like that. And then we've got three loops on our hook. Then we put our yarn around the hook, take it through two loops, yarn around and take it through two loops. That's a double crochet. So yarn around our hook into the circle and pick up a loop, yarn around through two loops, yarn around through two loops. We need 18 double crochet. Now I've got my 18 double crochet into my circle. Now I'm going to pull my circle tight. So I take hold of the end and I just pull on it and that draws the circle in. Now we'll slip stitch into the first double crochet, the top there. So just in there. So for a slip stitch we put our hook into the stitch Bring through a loop, through our stitch and through the stitch on our hook. And that's our first row complete. For row two we start with two chain and we're going to work a joined half double crochet into the same stitch as the chain and the next stitch. So we put our yarn around our hook, 
we put our hook into the same stitch as the chain and bring up a loop. We put our yarn around our hook, put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then yarn around the hook and take it through all the loops. And that's a joined half double crochet. It's called a joined half treble in the UK. Now we work two chain and we slip stitch into the same stitch as the last part of our joined half double crochet. So just in that stitch there. And then we slip stitch into the next stitch. Now we work two chain and we're going to work another joined half double crochet. So we put our yarn around the hook, hook into the same stitch as the chain and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around and through all the stitches. And then we work two chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as the last part of our joined half double crochet and then slip stitch into the next stitch and we'll just repeat all the way around so two chain a joined half double crochet into the same stitch as a chain and the next stitch two chain slip stitch into the same stitch as the last part of the joint half double crochet and the next stitch and then two chain and just repeat another joint half double crochet into the same stitch as the chain and the next stitch and two chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as the last part of the joined half double crochet, slip stitch into the next stitch and then just repeat those steps all the way around. And when we get back to the beginning of the row, we slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. And that's the lamb's body done. Now for the head, I've got my copper and I start with a magic loop. So I bring the tail over my hook the long end over the short end and bring a loop through and there's my magic loop and I start with two chain and I work ten half double crochet into the circle a half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK so I put my yarn around the hook I put my hook in through the circle from the front and bring up a loop put my yarn around and take it through all the loops that's a half double crochet so yarn around my hook 
put my hook in through the circle and bring up a loop, yarn around and through all the loops. And I need 10 half double crochet. When I've got my 10 half double crochet, I pull the circle tight, so I take hold of the ending and pull the circle in. I pull it as tight as I can for the head and I join with a slip stitch in the top of the chain, just in there. Now that's the head done, but I'm not going to fasten off, I'm going to start on the ears. For the first ear, I start with three chain. I miss the first chain and I work a slip stitch into the next chain. And a slip stitch into the following chain and then slip stitch into the same place on the head. And that's the first ear done. Now I'm going to work a slip stitch into each of the next four stitches. And I work another ear the same. So Three chain. I miss the first chain and I work a slip stitch into each of the two remaining chain. And then I slip stitch into the same stitch on the head. And fasten off. And that's the head done. For the legs, they both work the same. I start with six chain. I miss the first chain and I work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. So for a single crochet, it's called a double crochet in the UK. I put my hook into the stitch, bring up a loop, put my yarn around and take it through the two loops. So hook into the stitch, bring through a loop, yarn around and through both the loops. So I repeat that into each chain to the end. and fasten off. That's the first leg done. I need to work another leg the same. So I work another six chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the remaining chain. and fasten off.
Now that's all the pieces crocheted. I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. There's all the pieces ended off. Now the first thing I'll do is embroider on a face to the head. Now I've attached a face to the lamb. The next thing I do is attach the head to the body just in the centre there and I'll stitch the ears down a bit like that as I go around. Now the head's on the body and the last thing I do is attach the legs to the body just in under like that. So I'll, I'll attach them and I'll be back and show you the finished lamb. And there's the finished lamb along with the sheep. I'll have a link to the video for the sheep. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details on my website. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.